living on my own is different and a challenge. I feel I have equipped myself by doing this through schemes such as Scouts and Going Away, DV and living on my own independently. In my room at university I have door openers and probably handrails everywhere. At the moment I'm living by myself in the bungalow um, and uh, I'm just trying to look after myself as much as possible. I mean, I have family members to help now and again. Um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's nice to be by yourself. <laughs> um, it's been adapted so I can use my chair in, in and around it. And, and uh, I had a bath, <laughs> which I didn't get on, I don't get on with baths. <laughs> so now I've got a shower, which has uh, made life a lot easier. I've lived on my own for two and a half years now, and I love it. The house is like on a road right near where my brother lives, so he's, he's going to be near. And my family live like 15 minutes away. But it's um, I'm still going to need full-time assistance. I live somewhere for roughly about a month. Um, and they, ad they adapted before I moved in. So the kitchen's lowered. Uh, there's a wet room. Uh, in my, well, my bed I've got like a handrail so I can like turn. Um, and I've got a bar in my hallway so I can stand up and exercise. So that's at the moment. So. I've got family down the road. My nan lives up the road and uh, my mum lives about five minutes away. 